In this presentation, we will understand basics of while loop. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is updating a variable. The second topic is basics of while loop. So, let's get started with the first topic that is updating a variable. We already know how to update a variable. But this very idea is needed to understand the basics of while loop. Let's understand how to update a variable. For this, we will consider one simple example. Let's say that x is equal to 0 and let's say we want to update this variable. We want to add 1 to this value so that eventually x becomes 1. For this, we can use this statement x equal to x plus 1. Here we are adding 1 to x. Here we are fetching the old value of x. This eventually will be replaced by 0 because x is 0. So, here we are fetching the old value of x, therefore this becomes 0. 0 plus 1 is 1 and here because of the assignment operator, 1 is assigned to x and this means that x is now 1. This is the new value of x. In this way, we can update a variable. Now, let's remove this statement x equal to 0. This time we have just x equal to x plus 1. We do not have x equal to 0. Here we know that we need the old value of x because here we are fetching the old value of x. But there is no value of x. We haven't initialized x to any value. Therefore, we will get error from the interpreter. We cannot directly update a variable. It does not even make sense. We first need to initialize a variable before updating it. This is the idea I want you to take. So, before updating a variable, we must initialize a variable. This is the most common error in programming while dealing with loops. This is the reason why I am stating this point here. I hope this is clear. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is basics of while loop and let's understand what is while loop. While loop helps us in repeating a piece of code until the condition becomes false. So, let's say we want to repeat a piece of code, maybe a set of statements. Then we can do that based on some condition until that condition becomes false. We can do that with the help of while loop. So, while loop helps us in repeating a piece of code until some condition becomes false. Now, let's understand this concept with the help of an example. Let's say we want to print 1, 2 and 3 on the screen. There are many ways to do this. The most trivial way is to use three print statements and then print 1, 2 and 3. But this is not the best way because you can imagine if let's say you have been asked to print 100 different values, let's say from 1 to 100, then in that case, you will need 100 different print statements. This is not the right way to write a program. One thing we can do is to use loops. While loop helps us in repeating a piece of code based on some condition. Let's understand how to write a while loop to print values 1, 2 and 3 on the screen. Let's create the variable n and assign value 1 to it. With this statement, we know that n is initialized to 1. Now, let's use the while loop to print 1, 2 and 3 on the screen. How to do this? We first need to write this. While n less than or equal to 3. n is 1 right now. Therefore, this condition is true. Because 1 is less than 3. Hence, this becomes true. Therefore, we can go inside while loop. And when we go inside while loop, we'll first print the value of n, which is 1 in this case. And then we will increment the value of n by 1. With the help of this statement, we can do that. n plus equal to 1 is equal to n equal to n plus 1. So eventually n is updated to 2 because initially n is 1. Then after this, the next condition is checked. So this is not the case that we will stop here. After this, 
this condition is again checked and if this condition is satisfied again these two statements will be executed again so in this way we can repeat these two statements based on this condition if this condition satisfies then these two statements will be executed now let's understand this step by step how 1 2 and 3 will be printed on the screen this means that n is now holding value 1 after this we have this while n less than or equal to 3 now here we need to check this condition is it the case that n is less than or equal to 3 n is 1 1 is less than 3 therefore this condition is satisfied this means that eventually we will get true here and this means now we are ready to go inside the while loop here print n will be executed which means that 1 will be printed on the screen as n is 1 therefore we will get this output 1 on the screen after this n is incremented by 1 which means that 1 will be replaced by 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2 now n is 2 after this statement this condition is again checked this is how while loop works n is less than 3 n is 2 right now n is less than 3 therefore this condition is satisfied hence we will again get inside this while loop and we'll print the value of n n is right now 2 therefore 2 will be printed on the screen after this n is incremented by 1 this means n becomes 3 now again this condition is checked 3 is not less than 3 but 3 is equal to 3 therefore this condition is again satisfied hence we'll get inside this while loop and n will be printed which means that value 3 will be printed on the screen hence the output is 3 in this case and after this n is again incremented by 1 which means that this becomes 4 now again this condition is checked 4 is neither less than 3 nor it is equal to 3 this time this condition is not satisfied we'll get false here this means we will get outside of this while loop so in this way we have executed these two lines of code a total of 3 times this is how we can repeat a piece of code using while loop so in this way the while loop works i hope the idea is clear so this means that we are done with this topic and we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation I will see you in the next one.